sometimes Minecraft doesn't make any sense. This is me holding a lava bucket. Lava plus bucket. Bucket and lava are both fine. No problem, actually. But when you throw the bucket inside of the lava, it burns. And makes no sense because there's lava particles on the bucket. And makes no sense, actually. And this is the second thing I'm gonna say. This is how fire resistance potion works. You won't take any damage in fire, lava, and the others. Alright, let's get out of this hot pool. I don't know why I picked this seed. And, uh... I need this fire to shut down because um, I'm gonna clear the fire resistance effect. Oh, great. Oh, let's drink. No, we don't have any fire resistance effect yet. Sorry, bucket. And now, let's see if, what would happen if we threw this fire resistance potion Bruh. into lava. Hello. Maybe lava won't damage us because it's mixed with fire resistance. No, I was wrong. We all know that water can save us from dam fall damage. And this is the second thing I'm gonna say. Chests are not a fully block. They, they are a little bit smaller. And this is what we're gonna say. See that one pixel of water crossing these chests? Hard. With Minecraft weird logic, we can survive that fall damage, and if we survive, I'm gonna change my name to... Nothing. Let's just see if we can survive that this fall damage with that one pixel of water crossing those small chests. <gasps> that one pixel of water saved my life! No way! Ah! This one is so weird. This is a B. Right? This is a bee. They, they are so big that I can literally punch him with my fist. That's, that's, that doesn't make any sense. Why bee has to be big like this? How exactly? I can't really understand. Mojang needs to explain this shit to everyone. Because this is my question. I can't sleep during nights. If he was about to drown underwater, by the way, sorry if this part is so dark. Just place a door and you're done. You won't drown. See? This is me. Inside of water, but I won't drown. It's so cheap and... Zero logic. <laughs> we all know this block. TNT block. But we all know how to activate this block. Just put it on fire. Put it near a fire source and... You're done, your TNT is ready. This campfire is same with the flint and steel, right? It just fire surrounded with hot wooden logs. It's not a problem, right? But you can't place TNT in front of it. This, this campfire won't activate TNT. See, they both are kind of same. They both deal damage to the player standing near them. See, this campfire can deal damage too. But, you can't activate a TNT with campfire. See? It's, it's just safe, you know? It's good for decorating, but this doesn't make any sense. Why I can't activate that TNT with my campfire? Maybe I don't have flint and steel. I'm sure you watched the first episode of Minecraft Makes No Sense in this channel. In this video, I am explaining how to place lava under water in one part of it. But this is it, if you throw this lava bucket in water, nothing happens, there's lava inside of it, but that lava is safe, it gets weirder in a rainy weather, this is me standing under the rain, this is it, you can't place lava in water, I said that too many times, but you can place lava under water, see? Those black particles are the only thing that makes no sense, because why? Why that lava won't turn into obsidian? But this one, this lava is outside of the rain ridge. It's under a tree and there's no black particles, like that's one.